Okay, morning everybody. A little bit drizzly here in uh, in South Yorkshire at the moment, but uh, hopefully things will brine up as the day goes on. So this is a follow-up from that direction drill that we posted the other day. And as you can see, I've already placed a dummy out to Trinity's left. you see it on the edge of the grass there. And that one's relatively close to her. But I've also placed one to her right. And again, you can see that red one just in the first cut of the grass. There is also a couple of dummies by the brown and white post, which she doesn't know is there because I put them out earlier on. So if you remember on the previous drill, she picked that one, but because we'd done it in a familiar area, she then went and decided, I think I might go and see if there's something else. So I've moved her to a fresh bit of ground, so we'll see how she does. Over. So picked quite nicely. Wasn't tempted to go any further like she was when we were in the familiar ground. Thank you. So we'll place her back. And we'll give her another left cast. See if she can go past where she's picked. And have the confidence to go a little bit further. Now from a handling point of view, closer you are to the dog then it tends to be a little bit easier of course. So I'm going to go a little bit further back. She's still got that one to her left. Over. Didn't quite stop on the stop whistle. But at least she got there, acknowledged it. Probably something I need to continue to work on a little bit more. Good girl. Good girl this morning, are you? Girl. <whistles> oh, uh. Quite take the line, but in the same area, picked again. Hey, hey, hey. Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one there and we'll come back to that at a later video. Well done, Trinity. Okay, so hopefully I've been able to edit this next bit onto the previous uh, video clip. So just to refresh your memory, uh, we have left one up on the fairway, almost opposite the brown and white post from a previous drill. Um, there are a couple of dummies behind Trinity in that long grass, just past the silver birch tree, which she doesn't know is there. So she knows that one's there from the previous drill, but she doesn't know there's anything behind her. So I'm going to see if I can cast her behind, stop her and hunt her. You noticed on the previous uh, video, she didn't particularly stop sharply uh, when I blew the stop whistle. And the stop and the hunt sort of, sort of transferred into, into one drill. So we'll see where she goes with this. I might even stop her just before the grass. Go back. Have a pause. She's got good engagement. Let's see if she can hunt one out. It's 
Right, she's putting herself right. Held the area quite nicely, actually. I thought at first she was going to go a little bit too far left. That's a good girl. So there is still one in there, which she probably knows about. Now she's winded that one. But we'll also see now we've done that, whether she can remember the one further up the fairway. Over. Oh, uh, that's good, she had a little bit of hesitation, maybe thinking about going back to that area where she picked from. But her drive kicked in and she just kept on going. Now she's gone a little bit astray. Not a hunt whistling her here because I wanted to try and think, actually, was there something? But maybe I should have done. Now she's come across it, nose has got her out of a bit of trouble. So, so maybe a little bit of a lesson for me next time is if she doesn't take that line, maybe encourage her with a bit of hunt. But as far as I was concerned on that drill, it's just a remembered mark after another pick. And sometimes that's quite useful to work on because a dog may have gone before you and you may have just to remember where the previous bird is. Well done, Trinity. Everything all right this morning? Might need to give you a brush when we get home. Okay, see you later.